LGS Microscopes. My name is Paul and today we're going to be going over the basic day-to-day -day cleaning that you can do on your own microscope to keep it in top working order in between those visits from your professional. We have a microscope here that's been sitting for a while so it needs a good cleanup. I'll go ahead and show you how to do that. You really don't need that much in order to keep your microscope clean day-to-day. -day. It's helpful to have a microfiber cloth, a can of compressed air, some lens cleaning solution, and some q-tips. We're going to begin by grabbing our can of air and shooting a couple shots out to the side just to make sure it's clear of any condensation that might be inside of the straw. Take your can of air and just spray it down. Try to get in the little cracks and crevices. This microscope is really dusty. Once you've gotten the bulk of that dust off, you can take your microfiber cloth and just wipe it down. Some environments are far more dusty than others. There are some places that have dander in the air and so you definitely want to be doing this on a daily basis. You can move your stage forward, clean behind there, move it back, and clean these surfaces that are exposed. You can also move the stage left to right and clean underneath this sliding plate. Now that you've got the bulk of the dust off of the body of the microscope, it's time to move on to the eyepieces. On this microscope, you can pull the eyepieces out, and so that's what I've done here. If yours can do that, you should try that as well. Just be careful not to drop them, obviously. When you look straight down, it doesn't really look that dirty. But the trick is to use the light to your advantage. So I'm going to angle this from the light, and now you can see all the all that dirt and grime really starts to stand out. So that's the angle that you want to be using when you are trying to clean your eyepieces. If you don't have this option to pull your eyepieces out without using a tool and without it being a big hassle, then you can angle your own head to try to catch the light. Once you've got an angle where you can see the mess on the eyepieces, go ahead and grab a q-tip and take your lens cleaner and just put one drop on one side and then we're going to start from the center on the eyepiece and just wipe from the inside out in a spiral motion and flip the q-tip over and dry it off gently going in circles roughly from the inside out you also want to be twisting your q-tip as you go so that it's not all one side that's absorbing so you want to rotate and twist and if you're looking in the light, then you can see as the lens cleaner dries up. After you're done wiping off the eyepiece, you want to grab your can of air, spray it off gently just to go ahead and get rid of any of those lint particles that might have been left behind from our Q-tip. If after you've cleaned the outer surface of that eyepiece and there's still some specks that you can see inside the eyepiece, it's better to leave that alone because those lenses inside are put together in a very specific way. So it's better to leave that to a professional to clean the insides of those lenses. Once you're done with the first eyepiece, go ahead and repeat the process for the second eyepiece. Once you're done with the eyepieces, you want to do the same process for this lens right here, which is called the condenser lens. So we'll take our Q-tip, just one drop here of lens cleaner, and same thing, just apply a little bit, and then rotate as you swirl it around. This lens is often easier to see if it's clean or not when you've got the light on. Now we're going to move on down to the collector lens, which is the big bright lens on the bottom of the microscope. And as we turn the light up, you can see that this is a dust magnet. So we're going to start by hitting it with some air. Again, shoot out to the side a couple times, and then hit it. And then you can take your microfiber cloth and wipe it off as well. Very gently, not applying any pressure, just kind of swirling. It's not uncommon for there to be some dust left over on the collector lens. There's a lot of dust on top of there and inside of that assembly and also underneath and inside the microscope. Those things are better left for a professional to do because if you take it apart you have to make sure and get it back together the right way or else your microscope just won't work. The reason why you don't want to use lens paper on an eyepiece or on a collector lens or on a condenser lens is because every lens in a microscope has this protective coating on it that protects from glare and also from light scratches just like our eyeglasses do. But when you use lens paper or a paper towel 
or you push too hard even with a Q-tip, you end up scuffing off parts of that coating and it leaves you with this really foggy, hazy look when you look through the eyepieces. And then there's nothing left to do but replace the eyepiece. That's why we recommend using Q-tips to clean your eyepieces. Because otherwise, if you're using the wrong material, you might as well be using one of these. Really the best time to use lens paper or lens tissue is when you're dabbing off the oil from the bottom of the 100X objective. You can check out our video on how to properly use immersion oil to see what I'm talking about. If your microscope has a camera port like this one does, you want to keep that covered if there's no camera on there. You can find something laying around and just set that on top and you can also tape it down to make sure it doesn't fall anywhere. You really don't want dust getting inside this hole otherwise it'll show up really clearly in your field of view. It's really important that you have a cover for your microscope as well. You want to keep your microscope covered anytime that you're not using it. We offer these covers to our customers and usually microscopes will come with a cover when you buy them. Taking care of your microscope is a lot like taking care of your car. There are certain things you can do day to day on your own that will make it a little bit easier to use day to day, such as going to the car wash or putting an air freshener in it. By the same token, just like you have a mechanic for your car, you also want to have a technician for your microscope. Someone who can come in and periodically look under the hood, so to speak. This has just been a quick video on how you can take better care of your microscope on a day to day basis. Now it's not a substitute for having a microscope technician come out and clean it thoroughly periodically. If you ever have any questions or comments, you can call us at 623-240-2232 or you can email us at info at lgsmicroscopes.com. Thanks and I hope this video was helpful for you.